Welcome to Let's Talk a Little Shop, a podcast created by ASD Market Week. Let's Talk a Little Shop aims to help small businesses navigate the rapidly changing retail landscape. Whether you own a brick and mortar store, are an online seller, or both, this podcast provides tangible strategies to keep your cash register ringing. Hi, everyone. My name is Michaela Rose Wright, and I'm here with Camille Candela. And today we are here to talk about ASD's new podcast called Let's Talk a Little Shop. So, Camille, before we get into talking about this new podcast for retailers, why don't you tell everyone who you are and what exactly is ASD? Sure. My name is Camille Candela. I'm the vice president of marketing for a trade event called ASD Market Week. ASD Market Week, and let's a little start with the, the acronym, maybe. ASD, we've, we've uh, changed to stand for the Affordable Shopping Destination. So ASD is a trade event in the retail space, and it's where buyers from retail stores and distributors come to buy wholesale merchandise that they will have in their stores. So think of a convenience store or a Hallmark gift shop or a Tuesday morning or a Dollar General, um, all those type of very broad general merchandise uh, type retailers, even an Amazon seller, things that you buy on Amazon. Those things are bought and sold at a trade event like ASD. And we are one of the largest in the United States for that particular type of merchandise. What makes ASD different from other trade shows? There's a couple of things. One, um, ASD is is very broad in the variety of merchandise we carry. A lot of, um, and I'll just give an example. If you own a clothing store, there are trade shows out there that are primarily for apparel. So you go to that show to get apparel, right? Um, There are shows that are primarily for food. So you go to that show to get food. The neat thing about ASD is we cover a variety of um, product categories. And so if you are a, and I'll just give you an example, if you are a hardware store in Alaska and there's not a department store, um, if you're a gift shop in a small town, if you're a broad chain retailer like a Tuesday morning that carries everything from bedding to decorative items, um, you can come and shop across multiple categories, not just a niche category, but multiple wholesale merchandise categories at a show like ASD. And so that what that's what makes us a little different. The other thing that makes us a little different is a lot of time when wholesale buyers go to these niche trade shows, you know, that's where uh, you, they're, they're going to pay a little bit higher price. ASD is known for being for for having merchandise for retailers and distributors at really great wholesale prices. And what does that mean for them is they can turn around and make higher margins, right, which helps their business in the long run. So we have heard and, you know, a lot we've got a lot of buyers that go to other shows and we know that they need to go to other shows. They should go to other shows, especially something in their niche. But ASD is an amazing uh, show for them to come to where they can get a lot of of merchandise across different categories and they get it at such a great price. It's going to help their business um, in the long from from a profit standpoint. Awesome. And what about exhibitors? Like what makes um, ASD different for the exhibitors that sell to buyers at the show versus maybe some of the other events that they participate in and buy booth space at? And just like we had on the attendee side with regards to why an attendee might come to the show, um, an exhibitor, it's kind of the same thing. A lot of these exhibitors do their niche show. If I am in, if I manufacture or if I'm a swimwear designer, I'm going to probably do the swim show. If Mm -hmm. I am, uh, you know, a gift, you know, manufacturer, I'm probably going to do a very niche gift show around, you know, whatever that is. But if I'm, when I am ready to broaden my distribution channels beyond the very niche that I started my business in. So like Mm -hmm. I've got swimsuits. The first people I'm going to try to sell to is a swim, a swim shop. But when I'm ready to say, Hey, you know, I know that the Hallmark store down in McAllen, Texas, you know, they don't have a lot of shops down there. And I know that they carry swimsuits. Well, how are you going to reach that particular gift store? Because that gift store doesn't get on a plane and go to a swim only show, but they do come to a show like ASD that has a broad a variety of merchandise. So this is a show and a great show for where vendors can broaden their distribution channels. And then in certain categories like general merchandise, we are the core number one show in that. But if you're a, a gift vendor, if you're a health and wellness vendor. Uh, We are a place, ASD is a place where you can um, reach expanded distribution channels, different types of stores and different types of distributors that you just don't see at other uh, trade shows. 
Awesome. And Camille, let's talk a little bit about why we are starting this podcast. What 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 was the impetus for, you know, let's talk a little shop? I think that what happens is it's hard to bring things to life, right? You, you try to do videos. We do a lot of, you know, we try to communicate with, with buyers and sellers why, you know, ASD is such a little, basically it's a gem. I'll give, I'll be honest. I've been in the trade show industry for a long time and um, I, and I've worked for a very large trade show in the apparel industry and I've never even heard of ASD. And so when I came to this show, I was amazed. I'm like, wow, look how broad this show is. Look how much great product is here. Look how many really cool retailers attend. But Mm -hmm. it's just kind of under the radar. And so Mm -hmm. I think, you know, we've really tried to get the word out. And a lot of times it's hard unless you come and experience it. It's hard to bring it to life. So, you know, doing things like a podcast where people can, you know, really have sink their teeth into it, not just an email like us telling you, but, you know, somebody explaining like, here's some of the things that you'll that you'll find at the show. And then also hearing from people that come to the show, right? Hearing from retailers, how retailers have used, why they use it, why large, you know, uh, companies use ASD, uh, you know, uh, to grow their business, how small retailers use ASD to compete with some of those bigger um, Mm -hmm. retail chains. Um, That that's, I think we just wanted to kind of bring it to life in a different format. I love it. I love it. And, um, you know, now let's jump back over to the physical side of our event just real quick, because, you know, we just come back in the last year to having um, a actual event held in Las Vegas. So can you tell the listeners a little bit about some of the positive things that you're seeing by returning to a physical live event in Vegas right now? Sure. I will say this. I've been in the industry in the trade show and live event industry for over 20, 20, 25 years. And the the industry as a whole took a really big hit, you know, during the pandemic. However, Mm -hmm. what it proved to us, and we were very, we were one of the the first, and if not the first in our our organization to get back to live, uh, live events. What it did teach us is this, you know, we produce the live events. If somebody wants to come, great, come. We're offering you a platform to do and conduct business. If you are still nervous about it, you don't have to come. However, what it did prove to us is, Live events are not only thriving, they're, 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 people are craving them. They, yeah. I think it taught people that, look, I can do, I can order things online. I can look at, you know, uh, line sheets online. I can look at pricing online. I can look at, you know, but people like to do business with people that they know and they trust. And the yeah. best way to do that and build that relationship is face to face. And so it's, I think it's coming back with a vengeance. We've seen it. We've been very successful, especially at ASD. People were really hungry to get back. They wanted to connect with old friends. They wanted to make new uh, business relationships. And you just can't do that in a video. And it, it's nice and it's great, but people did get tired of it and they were really anxious and excited to get back. So we've seen some really positive momentum and I think it's just going to continue. Awesome. And another topic that always comes up when you've been speaking to attendees and exhibitors is the question of safety. You know, I know we're in year three of the pandemic, but, um, you know, as kind of travel and business has to get back to a new normal, what are some of the safety precautions that ASD is going to continue to have in place at the event for 2022 and 2023? The venue that we're in, which is the Las Vegas Convention Center, is Mm -hmm. um, GBAC certified. Um, Mm -hmm. And so that means that they meet the highest standards for a venue and a facility um, for safety and cleanliness. And so we obviously, you know, add to that with regards to daily disinfecting, you know, having on-site medical personnel, really encouraging people to, to, to be steadfast with washing their hands and, you know, social distancing. We just ask people to be, you know, personally responsible. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, it's, if you feel uncomfortable, wear a mask. I mean, it's, it's, it is, you know, the norm today. So, you know, encourage that. Some people choose not to, if the, if the state, you know, doesn't require it, but, you know, we encourage that and, and, and we do as, as staff. And so Mm -hmm. it's um, we, we follow all, you know, the science, right? So we're, we're following what, whatever, is mandated and we encourage people to do the same. Awesome. So Camille, thank you for joining me today to kind of give a kickoff of what ASD is, why we're making this podcast and some of the positive board movements at our live events. And so everyone in about two weeks, we're going to be kicking off our first series geared towards small retailers about e-commerce and kind of, you know, developing out that channel that's become so important to many of you during um, the pandemic and as you move forward. So uh, tune in in two weeks and hit the subscribe 
subscribe button. You can also email us questions at the email address below. And you can also go to asdonline.com forward slash blog to find white papers, articles, past videos. We have hundreds of articles, over a hundred videos, and we cover just about every topic from, you know, Amazon selling to merchandising in your brick and mortar store. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks for listening. To learn more, visit ASD Market Week at asdonline.com. To listen to more great episodes, be sure to subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, or Spotify, and make sure to rate us too.